replacing ECG without ETS. The gateway supports this mode when the front side menu buttons are pressed according to the BMA to get into the replacement mode. You can replace more than one defective ECG, but only one at a time. You have to make sure that the replacement device is identical with the defective ECG. Please see BMA how to do it. I demonstrate it in this short video now. I am starting with a configuration of two groups, respectively ECG. On this board, I have four ECG. The upper two of them are paired with the lower two push buttons on the panel. The buttons work as one button dimmer function. The lower two ECG are initialized. That means they don't have a valid short address. This condition can be achieved in the commissioning dialog of the DALI gateway after a bus ECG scan. The ECG must be selected and the button initialize be pressed. Now I simulate the dropout of both ECG by unplugging them from the DALI bus. Watch the front side display of the DALI gateway. From B, bus active, it turns to FB, failure bus, signalizing that something is wrong. To find out what is wrong, press the menu button A6 according to the BMA once. The F remains. Press A6 again. The channel LEDs turn on according to the found errors and 88 appears on the display, meaning the first error can be shown now. To see what error code it is, press one of the A8 buttons on the right. Here we find F6, it means no ECG found. To find out which device, press A7 up or down. It shows 02, which means ECG number 2. This is not the short address, but the order number in the parameters. Now press A8 again. It shows error F1. That stands for ECG failure. Before we proceed, we replace this ECG now. On my board, I just plug another one into the DALI bus. Then I move back in the menu till I see the F again. Then I press A7 down. Service exchange SE comes in the display. Press A6 once and the number of the first defective ECG is shown. With A7 you can navigate to other defective ECG if there are any. When you have found the ECG you want to replace you must press A6 long, more than three seconds. The number starts flashing in the display. After a while E0 should be reported, which means successfully replaced. Then you can switch back to normal running. If it didn't work, another error code will be shown and you have to try once more. Or you proceed to the next ECG and repeat the replacement procedure.